In this demo you will see an explanation of the implementation of MT Plus for KA2 projects. This is the first phase of the implementation, with limited management of the project being performed in the tool. This allows the completion of the beneficiary report in MT Plus, for those projects that have an early end date, or have been terminated early. The budget information should be completed in an Excel template, provided via the interface. In this scenario, you see Ben acting as the project contact of a beneficiary organization. We will follow the steps he takes to complete and submit the beneficiary report in MT+. From the moment of processing the grant agreement signature in the National Agency's system, Ben receives an automatic notification from MT+, as he is defined as the project contact. Ben logs in using the associated ECUS username and password of the email just received. If he doesn't have an ECUS account, he will follow the link to create an account, ensuring to use the same email address as of the email notification received. The project number for KA2 projects will appear in blue, unlike the project number for other key actions. Click on the project number. The project opens in a new window, and on the Projects Details tab. For KA2 projects, only four tabs are currently active, Details, Organizations, Contacts and Reports. The project information cannot be changed. The beneficiary report can be completed, by clicking on the Reports tab. Before generating the beneficiary report, Ben checks that the project data is up to date. He checks the organization details. If any changes are required to the organizational details, he must first update the organization details in URF, and then inform the national agency. The national agency will then update the information in their project management system, and transfer the data to MT+. As project contact, Ben will receive a notification that the project has been updated. When opening the project again, he can see that the organization details have been updated. Ben checks the project contacts. Click on Contacts. In this list, Ben can see all contacts for his organization. It is indicated if they are legal representative, preferred contact, or if they have access to project. Click on plus create. Fill in the contact details. Click on same as organization, to copy the organization's contact details into the screen. By checking the box access to project, Ben will provide his colleague with access to the project in MT+. His colleague will receive a notification from MT+, unless he is indicated as a legal representative. Ben ensures to use the correct email address, associated with his colleague's ECUS account. Click on Save. Ben is now ready to complete the beneficiary report. Click on Reports. Click on Generate Beneficiary Report. Please note that at this stage of the development, the beneficiary report for non-coordinating organizations is not customized. In the case of non-coordinating organizations, all fields that are not pre-filled by the system should have not applicable entered as text. This case is a special one applicable, only for K-82 school partnerships, involving only schools. It is only in this very specific case, that the coordinator fills in his final beneficiary report in MT+, and the other partners do it in a Word document, that is attached together with the Excel file containing the budget in MT+. All other types of KA2 projects, fill in their beneficiary reports in MT+, also attaching the Excel file containing the budget. Click on Edit Draft. The report will be pre-filled with some project information from the National Agency's system. If any of the information is incorrect, 
please contact the NA in order to have the information updated. Once the information is updated, and the data is sent again to MT+, you should receive an email notification, in order to generate the beneficiary report again, and to refresh the project data. Notice that the section's context, and project summary of participating organizations, are already filled in. To view the next section, select it or scroll down. Select Section 3, Description of the Project. Complete all the fields. When all the fields for that section have been completed, a green check mark appears. In a similar way all other sections will be completed. The budget summary and details of the project will be collected in a separate Excel file. Download the Excel template, 2014 KA2 Final Beneficiary Report, Project Details and Budget, by clicking on the Download Excel File button. Complete all sections. In order to attach the Excel file, either click on the Annex Section button, or click on Annexes. Click on Select File. Mark the file, as contains Budget Summary. Complete the last field of the Budget section. Notice that the report is now ready for submission. Before submitting the report, other supporting documentation can also be added. At any stage it's possible to return to the report page, which saves the report as draft. Click on Return to Report Page. The Release Draft button allows other colleagues who have been given access to MT Plus to edit the draft report. To continue editing, click on Continue Editing Draft. The draft version can be printed by clicking on Print Draft. Once all sections are completed, click on Start Submission Process. Before submission can be completed, a small check appears to ensure that all necessary annexes are attached and steps performed. The first step is to check if the Beneficiary Declaration of Honor and Signature is signed and attached. If not already done, it can be downloaded from the screen and attached. Click on Download PDF. You can now print the Beneficiary Declaration of Honor and Signature and sign it. Once it is signed, you must scan it and attach it back in MT+. Click on Select File. Click on Next Step. The Data Protection Notice is displayed. This notice must be accepted in order to continue the process. Click on Accept. A checklist appears. Please ensure that all items have been performed. Then change them from Not Done to Done. Click on Next Step. Be aware that the project will be locked once the Submit Beneficiary Report button is clicked. A message is displayed to say that the submission is in progress. It may take up to 15 minutes before the submission in the National Agency's system is completed. This completes this tutorial.